Hello and welcome to CoinLikes. Today we are going to learn how to use Stochastic Indicator. What is Stochastic Indicator? Stochastic Indicator is a momentum indicator comparing a particular closing price of a range of its price over a certain period of time. The sensitivity of the stochastic to market movements is reducible by adjusting that time period or by taking a moving average of the result. It is used to generate overbought and oversold trading signals utilizing to 20 to 80 bounded range of values. It's a very popular momentum indicator first developed in the 1950s. Now let's look at the parts of stochastic indicator. It has two lines, K percentage and D percentage. K percentage is referred to fast time period. The slow time period is taken as D percentage. The general theory serving as the foundation for this indicator is that in a market trending upward, price will close near the high and in a market trending downward, price close near the low. Transaction signals are created when the K percentage crosses through a 3 period moving average, which is called the D percentage. We have a 80 line that represents overbought zone. We have a 20 line that represents oversold zone. As you can see, we have so many crosses on our indicator. Now let's learn how can we use stochastic indicator in our trades. If the K% percent crosses above the D% percent in the oversold zone, you can take a long position. If the K% percent crosses below the D% percent in the overbought zone, you can take a short position. Now let's examine it on the examples for your better understanding. In this market, price is trending upwards. That means we can take a long positions. To determine our entry point, we can use stochastic indicator. In these points, K% percent crosses above the D% percent in the oversold zone. But how can we know which one should we use for our trade? That's why we determine our trend line first. For a good trend, we need at least three touches. As you can see, we get our three touches in that point. Now we can say we are on the upward trend. Now we can trade using bullish crossovers on our stochastic indicator. Once we identify our trend line and if we use this stochastic bullish signal, as you can see, it's a successful trade. In this market, price is trending downwards. That means we can take a short positions. To determine our entry point, we can use stochastic indicator again. In these points, K% percent crosses below the D% percent in the overbought zone. Once we identify our trend line and if we use the stochastic bearish signal, as you can see, it's a successful trade. You can also use stochastic indicator on the sideway markets, not only trending markets. Once you identify your support and resistance zones, if the price on the resistance zone and K% percent crosses below the D% percent in the overbought zone, you can take a short position. If the price on the support zone and K% percent crosses above the D% percent in the oversold zone, you can take a long position. To make more successful and safer trades, you can combine stochastic indicator with other indicators. In this example, I will use RSI indicator to identify my trend and also I will use stochastic indicator to determine my entry point. In this point, RSI crosses above the fifth line. This is a very useful signal for a long position. And also in the same point, K% percent crosses above the D% percent in the oversold zone. This is also a bullish signal for us. If we take our entry here, 
As you can see, it's a huge successful trade. In this example, I will use 200 EMA and stochastic indicator combination. Because EMA levels usually act like a resistance or support. That's why if the price above the 200 EMA, I will take only long positions. If the price below the 200 EMA, I will take only short positions. As you can see here, price break down the 200 EMA and 200 EMA start to act like a resistance. This condition will be our short signal because price can bounce down from the resistance zone. As you can see here, price below the 200 EMA and K% percent crosses below the D% percent in the overbought zone. This is a good entry signal for a short position. If we take our entry here, as you can see, it's an another successful trade. By making such combinations, you can increase your profit rate and make successful trades. And to make your job easy, you can use CoinLux custom signal tool. You can set your combinations easily and CoinLux will notify you when it detects these signals. You can also set up an alarm on CoinLux as well. You can also use our application to not avoid these alarms you created when you are not at your computer or you can use our auto trading solution on Lagsbot without needing anything. Thank you for watching us today. CoinLax. See you next time.